morning. I have my boxes in my room and I am ready to start building my new piece of furniture. I have the IKEA hem store and I'm very excited about this. I feel like this is such a uh, classic piece, like a lot of people have this, but uh, I want to put my own special touch on it in the coming weeks, which I'm very excited about. But today's project is to get this built. I do have another little step stool that I will try and build as well today. I don't know how long this will take me because I'm only using a hand screwdriver, although I'm pretty sure you're advised to only use a hand screwdriver. Anyway, whatever. It's my, that's the project for today. I'm just making my furniture. There's two boxes. There's a lot of pieces here. Um, also, you can see that my bed is not made. I need to uh, make my bed with all the my fresh sheets right there so that's on the agenda for today as well but uh, yeah just building my new furniture and then kind of starting to rearrange things um, so very excited that's today's video let's get building Unboxing everything was a little bit of a project in itself, but I have all of my pieces now, so I'm ready to start building. I'm a little bit uh, intimidated, to be honest, because I feel like this is going to take quite a while. I'm definitely going to need some breaks in between, but uh, let's get started. I've done the two side pieces and it's definitely time for a coffee break. I don't have any milk, I actually need to go and get some groceries this afternoon, but this is one of my new mugs. I got this for my birthday from my friend Chelsea and her mom, and I absolutely love it. I think the brand is called Villery and Bosch, and there's actually like a little really cool saucer plate thing that comes with it as well, but I'm obsessed with this handle. I think it's absolutely stunning. part is done. It's actually a lot bigger than I sort of expected. Like I did measure it, but when you put it together, it sometimes just looks a bit bigger. It's way higher than I sort of thought as well, which is really nice, but I'm very excited. There's definitely plenty of room for my clothing rack to go on this side. And then yeah, I'm definitely thinking maybe a plant in this corner. I've finished putting together like the frame of my dresser and I just need to do the drawers now, but I'm a little bit over it. Plus I'm starting to get like blisters in the palm of my hand from using the screwdriver. So 
I think I might just maybe do the drawers tomorrow or way later this afternoon if I feel like it. Um, I'm gonna clean up all of this mess and just make my bed for the time being and give myself a different task to get onto. My bed is made and I also brought in a bunch of flowers. This is from my birthday, but uh, they're starting to die because they're almost a week old and so a bunch of petals just fell off. But I just thought I would bring them in here to give the room just a bit of life and color while I still wait around to get everything organized. So I've got my drawers half done. I still need to do the actual drawers and put those together and I still need to put together my little step stool. And then my bedding is done. I really, really love this bedspread. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's from from bed bath and table and I think I'm gonna keep it because I really like the gray and the white I just think I might get a new sheet set I don't know what color though so that I can like you know pull the sheet over and there'll be a pop of color and then maybe some cushions but I'm definitely going to keep the gray and the white because I just really really like it and then I have to figure out how I'm going to style up my bedside table I mean the flowers look really cute but they're not gonna last forever so <laughs> I'm not really sure but yeah I feel like I'm uh, making some good progress in here half the problem now is I actually have petals everywhere and I pulled this one stem out because it's just it's all over for this guy so I have petals everywhere just making more mess for myself honestly it's the next day I didn't really feel like doing the rest of the drawers yesterday afternoon my hand was actually getting a little bit sore and I just didn't want to rush myself that's the whole point of this like series is I just want to do it in my own time and just whenever I feel like it so this afternoon I'm going to finish off all of these drawers and then if I feel like it I'm going to build the other little step stool that I got as well so uh, I guess we'll just get straight into it I had to put my camera on charge because I forgot to charge it last night, but the first drawer is done. It actually comes with this uh, kind of stripy paper in the bottom, but that is a future project that we're going to fix. And I'm also going to change these handles because they're not particularly that cute and I just want to be a little bit more creative and customize it a little bit. So. I will be changing these up a little bit, but I'm not too far from being done. I just have to do the other two drawers and then I am good to go. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Yay. I just can't wait to be able to change the handles and everything and start styling it all up on top. But it looks so good. There's still so much room in here. Like I can definitely grab that white fluffy rug that I have under my desk and put it in here if I want to. Or even get something different. But there's so much room in here. And I just, ever since I moved the bed, it's only been like two days. But it just feels so much better in here. Like it, I don't know. Maybe because I also have the extra blinds open that it's so much brighter and lighter in here. But oh, I just want to spend more time in here it just feels like a bedroom now rather than just a weird place it kind of had the vibes of like a mattress on the floor before like honestly that's what it felt like even though I had the bed frame put together but it's what it felt like so yeah yeah okay I'm gonna get in and finish these drawers This piece of wood is like a little bit bowed down here. You can see it's not very straight, which means it's not sitting very well in this corner, but I think I managed to kind of fix it. Like, I don't know, you can see the light through there. It's not sitting flat, which is kind of annoying, but I think it's okay because what you're supposed to do is put these side panels on first and then put this in at the back, but it wouldn't go down here at the bottom. So I took this off, put this one in, put it back on, and it's like, it's enough. It works enough, but ah, oh, man, that's so annoying.
I am so close to being done. I'm down to the last drawer and then I'm finished, but it's looking so good. So excited. I'm just mostly excited that it doesn't take up too much space and it still feels like big and roomy in here, which I really like. Yay, I'm so excited. I can't wait to like organize all of my clothes and like organize the top of it I need to bring in my clothing rack and then clean up all of this rubbish as well As you can see this bedside table is from Fantastic furniture and it's very similar like they're a very similar style. So they kind of match I feel like the Ikea drawers though are maybe just a little bit more of a brighter white than what the bedside table is But it totally works. I want to get new handles for all of them so I might match them or make, I don't know, make them different, whatever, but so happy. So I'm gonna, yeah, clean up and uh, bring in my clothing rack. Clothing rack is in. I actually purchased this clothing rack off Kogan back in like maybe April or May earlier this year. It was like super cheap. It's pretty flimsy to be honest, but um, I really liked sort of the bamboo tone to it. So uh, yeah, it's just got some white coat hangers with some mismatched jackets and a bag on it. So I'm going to actually style that up properly and make it look really cute. So it's kind of like a de decor piece, but also you know, functional and that it hangs my clothes. Very excited about that. And then, yeah, I think I wanna do my little stool. I'm not gonna build the stool today. I'm going to do that tomorrow because I can't be bothered to build anything else right now. It is many, many days later and I am going to have to get rid of my flowers very shortly. This is another one of my bunches and it's looking very, very dead. I feel like maybe this one purple rose here at the front is the only one that doesn't look super dead. And then this bunch I've put up here and it's looking a little droopy as well but I love fresh flowers I feel like I need to start getting back into getting them more often and it's been like almost a week since I even started this chest of drawers and guess what there's nothing in them I have some clothes up here that I need to fold and put away and I need to organize this clothing rack but it's just been sitting here like I said this is going to be a very very slow process and I'm going to just take my time and so this afternoon I have my little Ikea toolkit that I've had for a million years and I am going to build the last piece of furniture which is this what is this called a step stool <laughs> this step stool from Ikea it's super affordable like 20 bucks it's unfinished wood which is great because I purchased this because I really wanted to do a DIY with it so I'm just gonna pop this together and then I'm done with all of the furniture building for now until I probably buy something else We're done that was actually a lot more difficult than I thought because the screws were pretty hard to get in but besides wanting to do a DIY with it I actually thought I could put plants on it and I was originally thinking of putting it in this corner but it's kind of a tight fit like it's pretty crammed in there and with all of the many many suggestions on my last video if we back up a little bit and go over here it might actually work really well in the corner down here I could almost use it as a second bedside table to be honest but um down here with plants on it. I had so many suggestions to put plants in here. I'm gonna have fun DIYing it, but it might actually just be a nice little plant stand in there. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, but I'm going to clean up 
put this stuff away. The next video that I'm going to have is doing all of my wardrobe organization because now I have all of this extra space that I can work with. So I'm going to organize these drawers, uh, style up this rack so that it's half organization, half like home decor. And then around here in my wardrobe, I'll be able to organize this a little bit better as well. So that's gonna be the next fun project, putting this stuff in to this place over here. So yep, there's that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Up the top, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I will leave a link to another one of my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.